Hi, everyone. Thank you so much. And welcome, welcome, welcome back. I really want to thank um, all of you from the bottom of my heart. I posted a, a video earlier this week about just respecting capacity. And I was kind of getting knocked down over the weekend. And so many of you just came in with beautiful messages online, offline, completely completely uh, help to lift me up and, and get me out of that space. So I thank you from the bottom of my heart. The same thing that hopefully I do for you with this channel, uh, you all do for me. So I'm sending out some specific shout outs before we make our wish on the candle. Let me thank um, Sunny, Sunny Day, Cindy D, uh, Natalia T, Darlene H, Dawn M, Katrina K, Tammy B, Stephanie L, uh, SJ, uh, Marina K, Make Me Over, Occasional, uh, Otaku, I'm sorry, I know I messed that up, Give Me a Reason, Dr. Cool, Physician, Tutu, and you guys, thanks, and for the notes <clears throat> that I received offline, I really appreciate that. I tell people all the time, look, uh, we're living in different days now. It's just everything is configured differently than it was 20 or 30 years ago. And we take the support. We embrace the support. We love the support as, as we get it and from the source that we receive it. So this channel, you know, I get all your notes and I'm so appreciative as much as it has been healing for so many of you, it's also uh, a great source of warmth and healing for me, which is why I'm so adamant to keep this community um, positive and uplifting. We just, we don't need any nonsense or negativity within this community. This is where people come for good words, encouragement and healing. And so having said that, Let's go ahead and make our wish on the candle. Uh, I keep this candle burning when I'm making the videos as well as when I'm offline. I always have uh, a candle or candles uh, burning for my wonderful subscribers. So if you have not already done so, go ahead, uh, close your eyes, take a moment and make a wish. I'm going to do so as well. Okay, fantastic. I made my wish. Uh, so I'm back. I'm refreshed. I'm revived. I'm rejuvenated. Look, this is real world stuff. Uh, we all get knocked down. It, it happens to us all. And I just say again, receive the support where you get it. Allow yourself to be supported and don't question God with the source of it. Just just take it and, and run with it. So I'm back. I'm, I'm refreshed. We're ready for uh, another edition of Ask, Ask Sheila. Uh, this is kind of a doozy, okay? So I'm going to start with the title first, then I'm going to go into the note that I received. And the title uh, for our video today is Empowerment, Empowerment versus a Power Trip. Because sometimes people will pretend that they're empowering you. They come into your life. You know, it's like the, the, the wolf, the big bad wolf wearing sheep's clothing. But really, they're using you for a power trip. And some people, the only way they get their power uh, is to take yours. My grandfather, you heard me talk about him a lot. Um, brilliant man only made it to third grade, but he gave me so much wisdom before he passed on. And one of the things that he would always tell me is, sweetheart, the, the best people that you will ever meet, the, the very best people that you will ever meet, they are the ones that will make you feel like anything is possible. They're possibility people. They don't need to demean you or, or, or make you feel less than. So this letter that I received. It's signed uh, Reaching. That's how it's signed. it signed. It made me think back to that lesson that I've learned 
for my grandfather. So let's get in the into the letter, and then I just want to share some um, words of wisdom and information for you. And then I invite you to chime in as well uh, in the comment section. So here we go. Dear Sheila, uh, help, help, help. I met a great guy. We are now officially in a serious relationship. I'm meeting his mom and dad next week for the holidays. We are two very different people. Uh, he has done a lot in his life so far. Uh, travel the world, school. He's reading all the time. He is constantly on me to better myself. Yesterday we went shopping and he picked out the outfit I'm wearing to meet his parents. I feel like he quizzes me on what to say and what not to say in front of others. I've made some positive change with his help, but I feel like I'm losing myself. Uh, he does not like my friends. I'm having a hard time adjusting to his friends. I care about him, but I always feel like I'm reaching, 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 trying to catch up with him. He lectures me um, and we are okay for a while and then it starts again. I don't know if I want to meet his parents. What do you think? Uh, signed, reaching. Signed, reaching. Well, reaching, uh, thank you for reaching out to me. Your letter took me on a stroll down memory lane. And I remember, and I've talked about this relationship that I had with all of you before. This was, I think every most of us, not everyone, I'm say most of us have a relationship in our life, and let's just call it, that's the wang dang doodle, okay? That's the relationship that kind of flips us upside down, heartbreak, turmoil, but it's also the relationship that we learn the most about ourselves from. I'm reading your letter, and it took me back to a place. I, I met this guy, and on paper, on paper, just fantastic, dashing, uh, fancy degree, all this nonsense, you know, everything, you know, check all the boxes on, on paper. Um, and I remember quite often feeling like I wasn't, let's just say up, up to snuff. And it was just at a point in, in my evolution, uh, I was not empowered. I was not the empowered soul, the empowered woman that I am today. And it was not that he was better. It was not that he was more. God help me. In Jesus' name, he was not. It was just that I didn't know who I was. I didn't know. Um, I was not connected to my mission, my worth. Uh, my value just as a, a child of God, as, as a woman on, in this planet, on this planet, trying to do good and work, totally disconnected from that. So uh, it just caused me to deal in that relationship and have a slanted perspective. And quite frankly, much like you reaching, he would uh, make comments. Um, they were these demeaning, sometimes demeaning comments. Uh, I felt like I had to kind of get work myself and, and, and get up to par. Sometimes I felt like he was quizzing me. Cer certain things he knew, not that he was this oracle of information, but it's, it's, it's stuff. Maybe he picked it up in a book. Hell, we can all read books and articles. That's not, that's nothing fancy. But he would kind of lord uh, Lord that over me. And I wasn't in a place where I could really discern, uh, what he was doing. Now, look, uh, the woman I am today, I promise you, I promise you my right hand to God. Uh, this person couldn't get past go. He, he could not get my number. He damn sure could not get a date, but we evolve. And when, when we know better, we do better. Uh, so what I want to say to you, um, misreaching is uh, I want to validate your feeling that you don't want to meet his parents. Uh, there's a reason you don't want to meet his parents because I think you know in your heart that uh, something's, something's not right here. Something's not right. Uh, just based on the little information you've given me and that's all I can go off of as well as I let the spirit uh, move me. And what, what I want to uh, be, be clear about is 
this is what I want you to hear. Whereas he's saying, uh, I want, I want the best for you. I, I want to better you. Okay. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Um, I'm, I'm partnered with a lovely man who wants the best for me. Uh, he bends over backwards to make sure I'm supported, but I'm, I'm never demeaned. It's all, uh, in, in a healthy way. And I, I do the same thing for him. So the difference you will find is people who are disempowered. This is the crux. This is the meat and potatoes of my message today. And, and I really hope you catch this, that the greater the level, the, 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 the lower the level of empower, of, of disempowerment. So the more a person feels disempowered, less than, low self-esteem, the, 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 the more that is in play, the higher the amount of power trips you will see. Because people who don't feel that way inside, people who are really empowered and they've got it and it's good and it's healthy, all they want to do is empower other people It because they don't need to take it generically. They don't need to snatch it from you. Oh, uh, you didn't read this book or that's that's the dress you're going to pick. If, if you were sophisticated, if you were classy, this is what you would wear. They don't need to do that because they're fully empowered and they don't need to demean other people or step on other people for some rush or some some power trip. Look, I don't know this man. I don't know this man, but I, I do know this. I do know this, you're, you're not his child. You're coming to him as an equal and quite frankly, uh, empowered parents don't even do that to their children. You don't need to demean. So he's, he's already coming at you in a way that's letting you know, I don't, I don't regard you as equal. He's putting himself in some lordship. This is turning into some parentified, uh, a parentified dynamic and and that's unhealthy out of the gate and then the the other thing that I, I want to be clear on is there are people um, who come into our lives and and right out of the gate I have a problem with this I have a real problem with this it's uh, we're already doing the the makeover the makeover stuff I reference my video manipulated by a makeover that if if you do this, or if you look like this, then you're going to be perfect. These are people that they position themselves uh, in your life in such a way as the authority. Look, deal with who's in front of you. And quite frankly, if he's already picking out clothes to meet his parents, this this foreshadows some some very. Uh, I'm, I'm sad to say I see gray days up ahead. He's all, you're a grown woman, grown woman, paying your own bills, doing your own stuff. Why is he picking out anything in the first place? That is a problem. It's different if you've given him the, okay, let's, you know, yeah, you pick it out. Surprise, that, that's a different thing. If you like it, I love it. But it sounds like you didn't appreciate him taking the lead and you gave him the lead and letting him pick, pick these clothes out. This is, it's already a shaky dynamic. It's a shaky dynamic. So, okay. You asked me for some insight. I, this is me. This is me. And you, you did reach out. I would hold off. I would actually hold off on meeting his parents and until you can, A, if you choose to continue for it with him, do a deep reset. And the deep reset is, look, this kind of started in, in a certain way. I am not comfortable with this. If you want to give him a chance to make some adjustments. But usually people who come out of the gate and they're rolling like this, you know, I don't know. Let me know how it goes. Generally, they're, they're not the most keen on changing or you know you can just kind of put your foot down look at me this is this is who I am yes I want to be the best version of myself but I don't need a drill sergeant behind me pushing me because honestly it's very demotivating it's it's very demotivating and and for all I know sometimes these people will come into our lives have us twisted so upside down and we're perfectly fine 
we're, we're, we're perfectly fine and they have you thinking you need to do this adjustment, make this adjustment, then down the road you meet someone and they are thrilled. They are love you and they are thrilled with all of who you are. That was the case with me. That was the case with me. This guy that I had mentioned before, I mean, nothing was not satisfied with anything. Um, my look, my weight, what I was doing with my career. In the words of my grandfather, you've heard me say it again, fine, basta, let the doorknob hit you where the good Lord split you. Get out. If you're not loving it, appreciating it, someone's going to want the package, okay? Someone's going to want the deluxe package, and evidently you're not that individual, so you guys don't don't be afraid uh, when this energy is coming at you, when this energy is coming at you, you you have the right, you have the choice, because em empowerment doesn't feel painful. This is the work that I do. It's all it's all empowerment around mental health. You know, knowing who you are, celebrating what you learn, evolution. If it's real empowerment, it does not involve all these, these pain points inflicted on you. True empowerment is liberating. There is compassion there. There is a level of understanding. It, it does not bind and constrict. So reaching, I'm feeling like you're, you're, he, he's got the squeeze on you. And I would want to sit down over turkey and dressing, heaven only knows. I mean, I don't know what his parents are like. I'm not sure, but God only knows what is going to get unleashed over the dinner table. So I would just, you know, look, return the dress, chill out, let him go. Tell him we can, we can have some Cornish hens. <laughs> we can have some mac and cheese after you go enjoy your parents. Then we can sit here and have a talk. Because why would you want to put yourself in an uncomfortable situation? You also said you're not jiving with his friends. Um, he doesn't like your friends. See, that's a problem. Why isn't he trying to accommodate and, and, and get adjusted? You're already giving up. You're the one that's compromised. And he's not doing any compromise. So right there, that's going to breed resentment. So you sound like a lovely person to me. And this sounds like it's it's already becoming a headache. I just, you know, take some time, do a day retreat for yourself and really think about the trend. <laughs> is, is this the energy you said now it's crossed over into a serious relationship? So I don't know what else you've dealt with. Usually people only just give me a snapshot. Is this really the energy that you want to deal with and lead with? I, to me... There's some key decisions that we make in life and who we partner with. It's one thing like people on the peripheral who kind of drops in and drops out, but who you go home to daily, like who you're really sharing your life with, that's such a key decision because if you don't choose wisely, I've seen I've seen people be destroyed. You know, we watch these movies, like everything wraps up in a neat little package. It doesn't. I've literally, you know, in all these years of my work, practice, supporting people, I have been the woman, the helper on the foot of someone's bed as a bad relationship tore them up. Like I've been that person. Listen, you have children. You have to get up and shower. You have to go to work. You have to pull this together. I've seen people in the most compromise circumstances. I've seen what the force of evil and negativity working through a person, that is a force that can come through your life and destroy it. That's why I'm so adamant that as you are, you know, I'm not saying walk through your life paranoid, but the reality is before you full frontal, let someone into the house of your life. I've said before, you've got the sidewalk. Some people need to be on the sidewalk. Some people can come on the front lawn. Some people get to the porch. Some people get to the living room. Some people can get into the 
inner sanctum of your house before you let someone fully into the house of your life know who you're dealing with and what you're dealing with. Because once they're in there, easy to get in, very difficult to get them out. Once your your lives are inter intertwined, bills, children, memories, emotions. So I'm not suggesting, you know, we be paranoid out here. I'm not suggesting this. What I'm saying is, please take some time, be aware have your due diligence because allowing that positive energy and the wholeness of a, a compatible partner, a compatible friend is the wind beneath your wings and can do so much good for your life. But God is my witness. I've also seen the opposite and everyone doesn't heal and go to the Grand Canyon and, and go bike riding. Some people do not recover from this. Um, this work, I'm giving you a cautionary tale. I want everyone lifted. I want you so lifted that you can delight in frivolous, very frivolous things. You know, I was in the grocery store the other day. Um, guess what? Oreo has the holiday cookies out. This is the type of thing that I can pay attention to. I have my serious side, but it's also these frivolous things that I enjoy because I have to make sure my life is lifted. My Sophie, she's on this kick with little aliens, UFOs and all this. Went to the library to get her some books, just talking to the librarian about nonsense. The, this is the type of thing, yes, life serious, but I want you to enjoy the friv the fun and frivolity of, of life too. And it's difficult to do it when we are tangled up uh, with this nonsense that can come in. So you guys, don't let people pull their power trips on you. Know the difference between empowerment uh, and a power trip. The more empowered we are, uh, the more we can give that out uh, to the world and we want to keep ourselves lifted so we don't have to go down that road of power trips with people. So you guys, it's it's been wonderful. Thank you uh, for your warmth. Thank you for your support. Uh, I love this channel. I love doing this work for you and I'll be coming back with you soon. If you're enjoying this content, do subscribe, share the news on the channel with your friends. I'll see you soon.